103.3 KFR, it's Dana and Chelsea, and for the first time in so freaking long. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> Tony Daniels from the Kalamazoo Wings join us. Hello. Hey, Tony. Hi. It's been nice to meet you. You too. And finally in person. Yes, it's been exactly. so long, I probably got your name wrong already. It's, it's okay. Tony Lentini Daniels. It's, well, it's Tony Will. <laughs> oh, see? It's, <laughs> That's it's been so long. <laughs> so I have not seen you in the flesh since March. It's yeah. so good to see you. And uh, word is, Kalamazoo Wings coming back finally. Yes. Yeah. Normally at this time of year, we've got five or six games under our belt <gasps> and uh, we have zero right now, obviously. So, yeah, we're hitting the ice January 15th. All right. Uh, we don't have a schedule yet. So that's we're going to keep everyone in suspense <laughs> as the league is keeping us in right, suspense. Right. Right. <laughs> Need to know information. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea, I don't mean to, this may be a dumb question, mm. but I'm just assuming since you are from Florida lifelong, that maybe you've never been to a hockey game in person. Well, we had the Panthers, I think, down there, whatever the actual team was. Clearly, I didn't go enough. I've been to like one Oh, or so you two. have been to a hockey game. Yeah, but it's okay. been a decade, yeah. maybe, since I've been to, a, to a hockey game. So. so much fun to go to a K-Wings game, and they have Mountain Dew. <laughs> We do. Well, that's not a priority for me, but it still sounds like fun. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it, it's a blast. But things are going to be a little bit different this year because of COVID-19. What can fans expect? Yeah. So we, um, our season ticket holders are going to be the our only fans allowed in the facility. Mm. And so um, they have exclusivity, which is awesome. Um, we have a waiting list if anyone's interested. Okay. Because we're allowing our season ticket holders to make the option to opt in or opt out this season. Oh, good. Yeah. So, and we'll save their seats and we've been communicating with them. Uh, we want to ensure that everyone feels safe and yeah. everyone is making their own decisions of course. This, this year in terms of what's important to them. So. I feel like there's a benefit to that. If you're a season ticket holder, oh. you kind of have a place to yourself like a in a way. carpet rollout. Yeah, there you go. And, really, and those are, are really avid hockey fans. So yeah. we've been in Kalamazoo for 47 years now, and which is a huge deal. And a lot of these season ticket holders have been season ticket holders for that long. That we, entire time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a dedication. Yeah, yeah. you know, professional hockey in Kalamazoo, it's unique, you know, because we're such a small community. Right. So, um, but we also have young families. We kind of have a mix as um, as the years have marched on. But yeah, it is really special. And so we're we're going to roll out the proverbial red carpet for them. And, and uh, they're excited to have the, the building to themselves. Lots of room to spread Very out. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what hockey would be like if the players had to obey the social distance rule. Oh. <laughs> Well, you, you, I mean, not that oh I want to bore with anyone with these details, but the protocol around our players is uh, the return to play uh, is just, it's, it's insane. A little so extreme. They're really in sure. their own little bubble. Right? Yeah. They have to make sure they stay healthy like yeah. an astronaut before they yeah. go to space. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Unreal. Yeah. They are not allowed to be around any fans this year. Mm. Um, they, I mean, really it, it is so we can. Hopefully not have an outbreak. Right. And we can keep, uh, there's an entertainment option still. So for those who can't come to the games, you're not going to be left out. So we have um, a new streaming platform this year uh, called Flow Sports. And so this is not new to anyone in in the sports world, but it's a really, um, you can watch really any sports on there. But um, the ECHL hockey will be on there this this season. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and it's the, the product they put out is awesome. And you get to see all the home and away games. It's super affordable. So we're going to get that out there on our website and social media at kwings.com uh, for those that want to be able to still like keep up with yeah, the K-Wings yeah. but can't do it in person. Fantastic. Right. What a good option. Yeah, it's hopefully this whole thing gets cleared up soon. Maybe we'll get a vaccine sometime, uh, you know, before the season's over. Something. Yeah. And we can start to get back to normal and do things like, I mean, is there anything more Kalamazoo <laughs> than going to a K-Wings game? Because there's not. No. It's been here since I've been alive. We almost share birthdays. Yeah, you do. We are that's exactly right. the same age. Yeah, that's right. So there, we have to have K-Wings hockey. And since I'm not a season ticket holder and I would have to wait for someone to uh, drop out yes. so I can j- jump in. <laughs> I am ready for this COVID to go away. That's well, the right. good news is that our season, because we're not starting till January, our regular season is going to go till early June. So to your point, Dana, maybe we will have a vaccine by then and we will be able to open up more right. and we will be able to sell walk up tickets. That's our hope. Yeah. Um, we're certainly optimistic that, you know, we're going to see our way through this and fans will be back in the building. I mean, it was just a year ago we set the Guinness Book of World Records for the Star Wars. That's right. Um, yeah. Lightsaber battle. And I believe what? you're a Star Wars I am fan. a big Star Wars I, I totally I so forgot about I this. That. It oh was God. and Mark Frankhouse was uh, one of our timekeepers. Stop! And yeah. It was just a year ago, and we set the Guinness Book of World Records here in Little Kalamazoo, and we're in the book. 
That's so, amazing. That's really yeah. cool. So imagine, thank God we did that a year ago. <laughs> right? So oh. my God. You, yeah. It was who knew this was coming? Thing. Yeah. So we'll be back to setting world records okay. pretty soon. I believe that. I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, but I can't wait to be amongst a large crowd of people again. <laughs> you know, I'm hearing that I can't a lot. Wait. Yeah. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, my business partners are like, I can't wait to come to a K-Wings game. And before before I was like pulling, like, right. oh, you really want to come? <laughs> yeah. It's just begging people to come yeah, to events. And now yeah. we're all just so ready to go. <laughs> well, Tony, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to kwings.com to get more information on the upcoming season. If you are a season ticket holder, yeah. you've got the place to yourself. Take advantage. <laughs> like kings and queens. Have a Mountain Dew for me, please. You might be more of a beer person, but I'm just saying. Well, thanks, Tony, guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks.